Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giovanni and I'm a Salesforce administrator working for a nonprofit organization. Today, I want to share my journey on how I transitioned from a medical device technician to a Salesforce administrator. Many of you may be starting your Salesforce journey and may be feeling lost. Perhaps you have your admin cert, but no luck finding a job. I want to assure you that we all have gone through struggles and doubts. In this video, I will provide tips on how to overcome those doubts and what has helped me land my first role as a Salesforce administrator. My story starts in 2010 when I graduated high school and decided to study criminal justice in college. The goal was to be part of a law enforcement agency. In 2013, a year before graduating college, I decided to join the military as a reservist where I served eight years separating from the military in 2021. In 2014, after my military training, I left the customer service job that I had in hold and landed a job as a medical device technician. I spent the next seven years working in the medical device field, but I I always felt like something was missing. I wanted more than just a job. I wanted a career that I was passionate about, like law enforcement. So from 2013 through 2021, for eight years, I kept applying to numerous law enforcement agencies. Went through the process, made it to the final stages, but never landed my dream career. Chasing this dream career had my life stagnant. I wasn't moving anywhere, so I had to regroup and look elsewhere. While working as a medical device technician and serving the military, I always knew I wanted more. As a curious individual, I tried different fields, IT, video editing, and even created social media content for local businesses. But I always found myself drawn back to technology. I was an end user of Salesforce in my previous role where I became curious of the platform and its capabilities. For the next two months, I was taking notes of what are the steps to become an admin, resources for beginners, and for military members. YouTube, what people had to say about being an admin, and reaching out to the people who are in the Salesforce ecosystem. Take advantage of LinkedIn, reach out to people, set up a time, ask away. Way, be curious. Folks in the Salesforce ecosystem want to see you succeed. In September of 2021, I made the decision to start the Salesforce Admin Trail Mix. While working full time, spending two, three hours a day, some weekends, overall, it took me seven months to complete the Salesforce Admin Trail Mix. And along the process, I failed the exam twice. The first time I knew I wasn't ready, but I wanted a taste of the exam. The second time I missed it by five points. But the third time was a charm. I passed the admin exam in April, 2022. I remember this like it was yesterday. As soon as I passed the admin exam, I started applying to different jobs and guess what? I wasn't getting any interviews or calls. This is where you'll find yourself after passing the admin exam, or perhaps this is where you are at the moment. I knew I had to create a different plan to stand out from the crowd. So I went ahead and created Salesforce online portfolio and multiple apps to track track mileage, job applications, and expenses. This helped me stand out from the crowd and show interest in the platform. From the time I obtained my certification in April 2022, I applied. Before I tell you how many times I applied in three months, I'm going to give you a couple seconds to guess how many times I applied. In three months, I applied 105 times. That's a whole lot of rejections. Remember in the beginning, I didn't have much to talk about and nothing in my resume to prove that I had experience with Salesforce. I did volunteer, but halfway the project was canceled. I kept going, I kept pushing through, ignored every rejection and kept telling myself all I need is one yes. And after three months of applying and interviewing, I landed my first role as a Salesforce admin. These are tips and resources that have been helpful in my Salesforce journey. I'll be linking all the resources in the description box. It's going to be a rough path getting hands-on experience, especially if you don't have any tech credentials. Put away all the doubts, dive in, and learn as much as you can. In the beginning, nothing will make sense. You're being bombarded with a lot of information, new information, and if you're not consistent, that information will fade away. But if you are consistent, this information will slowly start to make sense. You just need to get over the hump. For a split second, I almost forgot about David Massey's Udemy course. To this day, even though I have passed my admin exam, I still go back and reference it. It's a great course. I highly recommend it. It's worth every penny. I'll link it down below. Join a community. There's a huge Salesforce community on LinkedIn. A variety of people on YouTube talking about their experience. And for those who are military members, there's nonprofit organizations like Mavris who help military members and their spouses obtain their Salesforce admin certification with trainings led by experienced individuals in the Salesforce ecosystem. And we can't forget Talent Stacker. Talent Stacker is a huge community, a Salesforce community who is growing. And I'll leave the links below if you're interested in checking out. 
practice, practice, practice. I failed the exam twice, but I kept practicing and eventually passed on the third try. If you didn't pass the first time or second time or third time, that is okay. Go back, focus on the weak points and improve on those areas. That is what worked for me. Everything I've shared with you guys so far is what has helped me in my Salesforce journey over time. Take this information, tweak it around, make it yours create a different game plan. If you're not getting any interviews or calls, revise your resume to the role you're seeking. This is the time where you should be creating multiple apps for you to showcase. The more you have to talk about, the better you'll be. If you can control the direction of the interview, you'll be remembered and the interview is yours. Practice common interview questions. They will help you out tremendously during interviews. I'll leave the links below to the guide that I use. For example, the 38 Salesforce admin questions. Go check out Salesforce Ben if you haven't. They distribute a wealth of Salesforce knowledge to the community. And if you want to keep moving up the ranks and staying updated with any new releases, try ahead. If you made it to this part of the video, comment Salesforce to the end. I know it can be hard when you're not getting any calls or interviews, but you need to remember that it only takes one yes and if you truly want this don't give up i hope my story and my tips help you in your salesforce journey remember to practice the most common salesforce interview questions this is the time for you to shine during the interview to showcase everything you have worked on the more you have to say the better take over the interview take over the steering wheel and showcase everything you have learned about salesforce don't forget to seek out resources like the salesforce community on linkedin facebook groups and nonprofit organizations like Maveris that provide salesforce training good luck on your journey and don't give up i hope this video has been helpful be sure to share your own salesforce journey and any tips in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you guys have any questions leave in the comment sections below thanks for watching till next time